yep. Who remembers the big green bastard? This is, uh, I did a video on how to make a one-fifth scale crawler uh, for 300 bucks by taking two uh, Exceed RC rock crawlers, the one-eight scales, and putting them together adding a one-fifth scale body, and I came up with the big green bastard. Now, this wasn't my original idea. Uh, I had actually flown out to VidCon, which is a big like conference of all the video producers uh, back in, vid, uh, in 2012. Uh, YouTube video producers, you know, online video, that kind of thing. I flew to Anaheim, uh, met with the uh, Nitro RCX guys, had some fun with them, and that's actually why I still do some of the Exceed products. A lot of people ask me to do cost effect or budget RCs because we don't all have like huge budgets to blow on our rigs uh, and you know for a couple hundred bucks you can actually get a, a pretty decent rig you know within a budget so I decided to delve into it a little bit more one of the research and designer guys uh, at Nitro RCX had come up with putting two of the eight scale crawlers together two chassis plates and I actually filmed the prototype while I was down there you guys can find it I'll put a link in the video description box if you want to see other green bastard videos the reason you haven't seen me use this guy though is because I, I sheared look at I sheared the uh, uh, the, the gears in the back when we were at the 2012 TTC and this wrestled a summit uh, and they went head to head in the mud pits like bah! and uh, I sheared the gears in the back they're plastic so what do you expect right these are actually motor on axles so here two chassis put together I kind of listed the parts for conversion if you see the video it's an old video now um, but it's just two chassis, kind of like the 6x6, the Exceed that I had just done, the 6x6 the, uh, six six that they offer. I did give that away. I gave it to PM Hobbycraft uh, to give away to a, a, a young fella that needed something, you know, was eyeballing the nice stuff, and there's an extra RC. I didn't need another one. Uh, so... Unfortunately, it's either it's probably the spur gear on the inside right off of the motor on axle. So this has a motor that's controlled right on this axle so there's no drive shafts. See? Nothing like that. No drive shafts. All the turning gets done right from the axles. So this was so popular, I think like 300,000 people saw me put it together for this uh, $300 one fifth scale monster truck conversion. Right on. The only thing they're having a hard time buying was this body or the parts. I know, I guess they had some parts issues and some were out of stock and you know, that happens, especially when you have thousands of people going. Um, this is actually off of the Hannibal. This is a one fifth scale uh, gas powered truck they had. So after they saw the success of what had happened online, course exceeds like oh how can we get that to the people because everybody wanted one but they couldn't get their hands on one hmm. so instead what they did oh here you guys want to see a size comparison <laughs> that's what he said <laughs> there's that it's not mounted on the post here's the black widow kaboom so there you get like a real idea of how big in comparison this is uh, can go over lots of uh, obstacles. This here is not super fast. It's a crawler. It's supposed to crawl, go slow, kind of maneuver its big burly body over whatever it needs to do, right? Can you even put this right on the Black Widow? How's that for a shot? Uh, but, okay, I digress. I'm sorry. I was putting all this down. I know some of you guys would have wanted to see how big this actually is. Let's do something fun. That's right. They did it. Check it out, it says waterproof right on the box. The Max Stone 5. I don't know, do they have any in stock? I don't know, at the time of this filming they might. I didn't go and check though. They wanted to send one to me to show you guys that they actually, they were listening. They could see that a lot of you were having problems sourcing the parts. And uh, like I said, this was an originally an Exceed developer's idea anyway. I just got to show it off. Oh my god, okay. I can tell right away. It's like a giant axial body. The XR10. Wow. Look at this. Okay, I know I'm hiding it. I know I'm hiding it. Check it out. That is definitely an XR10 body uh, or style type of body. 
pull the tires out. Pull the other tires out. Ugh. Is it locked down? Nope, cut open already. Awesome. Getting it out of the package, throwing the box out of the way. It's a huge box. <sighs> Done. Let's see what we got. Here, tires. Here, t -t 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 tires. Uh, let's see, where's my knife? Bit of a flibberty gibbet. I'm pretty excited to see that it finally came around. It's too bad they didn't stick with the animal body, but you know a lot of people didn't like it. I like it. I don't mind having a big ugly truck. <laughs> it grew on me. I liked it. Okay, so here are two, two of the tires. Same tires. Nice color coordination. Kablamo! I did not even check how much they're selling this for, but I imagine it's around the same cost. I try not to mention costs uh, in my show because prices fluctuate over time. The video lasts forever, but prices change. Here's another tire. Here is my radio. Oh, is it the same blue? Uh, 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 uh. Yep, same blue handle. Oh, I see they've changed it a bit though. Check this out. Different antenna on the radio. The bluey. Different antenna, look at that. Just a little stubby on there. <laughs> Let me turn the viewfinder around. There we go. There you can see, you know the standard radio weighs like nothing, like an ounce, if that. Hmm. Uh, comes with a charger though, so that's nice. Boop, boop, boop. How many more of these do I need? I keep writing on the bottom of them, you know, what truck it is, just so when it's in the radio control hobby closet there, it's all fixed and done. I see a Dean's connector on this, and you know what? For the first time ever, I see a Dean's connector on the inside of the fist scale. Awesome. Yeah, they've totally added some to this to make it, look at, they've extended, they put wheel extensions on. Nice, looks like an aluminum servo steering horn. Also a waterproof servo. And this thing weighs nothing. Like super, super light. Check it out. Kablamo. That big, hey? Okay, so if you're looking for a monster crawler, where's my XR10? Here it is. This has the tires on it. So you can see why I say it's an XR10 modeled body for sure. Sorry, I'm looking in the viewfinder. I should be looking at you. Here is the size. This is a one-tenth scale. This is a one-fifth scale. So that's easy to see. Just back off these lock wash or these washers. They're not lock washers, I guess. Get this out of the way. Looks like you could put in uh, rear steering if you like. I think. I don't know. I'd have to look at how they mounted up the servo, but I, I'm pretty sure that's what I'm seeing. Yeah, they just do it on one side. So yeah, rear steer can be installed, easy peasy. Put this on like that. Come on! <laughs> Get on there. Don't give us a hard time. This did come with a wrench. Check it out. Well, here's the wrench in here. Instead of fiddling with this, why don't I just do it properly? Now I'm glad to have this big fella in the studio. I'm glad to see when good ideas come out that companies pay attention, right? I could see fist scale crawling definitely catching on, right? Tent scale crawling is the bomb. I don't know if somebody came out with a really decent fist scale trailing crawler, I'd be all over that. I would be all over that. Let's see here, this goes on this side. Now, what can you expect when you're spending, you know, a few hundred bucks on a big truck, right? Like, it's not going to have all metal gears or anything. I don't know much about this, but I assume that it's pretty straightforward with plastic gears on the inside. But if you want to upgrade and you have the budget as you go, holy cow, that's light. You can always upgrade it, you know? Look at these big, long shocks. Nice. These actually look really cool. Come here, check that out. All aluminum, all anodized, and I can certainly see that this is now one big frame. Good job, guys. Sorry about the shadows there. Kaboom! Yeah, I try to do some giveaways, like the 6x6 I had. Uh, we give away uh, sticker sheets or RC Sparks decal sheets in the RC Sparks uh, forums uh, every week, actually. So there's 52 contests in 
2014 for sticker packs. So you guys are allowed to go and look there. It's in the contest section if you want. Um, we wanted to open it up and sometimes we pick a few winners during the week because there's quite a few contestants that you know enter in random stuff post a picture of your rc or whatever the contest is that day let's pull out the back here so we can have a peek oh it looks like they got two on the front two on the back and nice in fact just so you didn't get a wrecked um a wrecked top check this out Perfect. Ah, oh, look how shiny it is. Nice, beautiful, get off. Ah! Static electricity. There you go, wow, in your living rooms. There you go, looking pretty good, not a scratch on it. I'll fix that. <laughs> okay, so, uh, battery charger here. That's very interesting. Let's have a look in the bottom, just so I'm not messing this up. The battery, okay, this one here takes one, two, three, four, pretty standard. Four double A's for uh, 2.4 gigahertz. I almost said megahertz, that's not right. What kind of battery is coming in here? It looks like a nickel metal hydride, two, four, six cell nickel metal. Probably take a two cell lipo pretty easy. I'd probably upgrade that myself into a three cell, but I haven't tested anything. I can't really say yet, so we'll find out. I love the articulation. Look at that, it's huge. How, look at that. Holy cow. Now, normally in a 10 scale crawler, I say try not to have too much articulation because if you're you know, crawling over a hole, you'll tend to get your tires stuck and then kind of crack it. But Look at that. For a fifth scale crawler, I can pretty much twist it upside down. That's retarded. Uh, these are adjustable shocks. So from what I see, look at that. Holy cow. The links, it's got complete, it's like a, it's like a ride. <laughs> so there we go. Let's see. I don't think will my handle body even fit on it anymore. I know everyone's like, put on the other body. <laughs> Lining it up, just wanted to see. No, it won't. So obviously you can tell just from the front that it wouldn't. So I still have to fix the back uh, gear in that one, but that's okay. On, yeah, pretty normal. Little red and green light. Make sure before you turn anything on that everything on your throttle trim and everything is all zeroed out, right? You don't want it to be going crazy on you when you plug it in. I don't know how much charge this nickel metal hydride battery has, but we'll try it out. I think it's nickel metal hydride, I hope. Come on. That is plugged in and there is an on button. Where is the on button? Having a look, having a look. Okay, this ESC, uh-huh, has it running down to the servo and there's the on off button right in the middle. Welcome to the RC Spark Studio, my friend. How are you feeling? Nice and strong. Oh, I see a bit of, when it's moving, it moves the links a little bit. Let's see, let's see what it's doing. Right up here. No, it's just strong, that's all. I can see that it's moving in this area. I could probably tighten that up a little bit. I don't really see it being a concern for me right now, though. Nice. Okay, that is full throttle, right? But that's on a nickel metal hydride battery and I haven't charged it at all. It just came in the box. So it is minus 29 today uh, Celsius at the time of this filming. I ain't going outside because my camera can't even withstand that kind of cold. Everything just kind of freezes in the liquid crystal. Um, that's minus 18 Fahrenheit for those folks that operate in Fahrenheit, but you know, that means I can't take out the camera. I can't take out the RC today. Uh, being February, it's like the mega cold time uh, for my part of the world. Gotta wait a little while for the cold snap to be over. But what do you think? There you go. I know, I'm excited to get it out on the trail. I really do want to take it out to the trail. Um, and then I can give it a better look, hey? What do you think? Let's line it up against the big green bastard and see. 
I named this the Big Green Bastard after uh, the Trailer Park Boys and Bubbles. That was his wrestling character. Oh my god, this is even longer than the Big Green Bastard. It is longer by oh, four inches. No way. Check this out. Kablamo! That's a really good way to line it up. <laughs> I gotta be careful, I'll be having little tent scales running around pretty soon. <laughs> uh, so obviously it's a much bigger chassis, longer links in the bottom, so I wonder if that's why we're seeing a bit of movement, um, just the way it's linked up, right? I didn't see any top links coming up there, did I? Oh no, I did, there is top links. Boy, I'm just making it up as I go along here today. Uh, it's that. You know, but being a crawler when it's maneuvering around the rocks and twisting and turning. I wish everything wasn't covered in ice right now because I would be out there immediately. All right. Let's see. This can't be that hard to do. <laughs> do it, do it, do it. Come on. Not, don't fall off the table. Yeah, nice. Turn the tires. Oh, don't get that moving. There you go. Oh, oh, almost. Are my back tires almost off the table? Gotta straighten it out. Am I gonna fall? Yeah. <laughs> I know I can do this. There you go. Good boy. Ah! <laughs> the axle's caught on the top of the Black Widow. I don't want to wreck the Black Widow though. That's pretty awesome though. Uh, there you go guys. So fifth scale crawler. Uh, I'll probably take this to Crawler Ted's and embarrass myself. <laughs> uh, there you go. Hopefully you guys like the show today. I'm sorry I'm not outside, but it is just too darn cold. I could man up, but I'll tell you what, my RCs and my equipment can't unfortunately. So until next time guys, Thank you for watching. I hope you're subscribed to the show. We do lots of really cool stuff here. Until next time, I'll see you on the next RC adventure.